What up, doe? I'm back. Pay Vix. Thoughts with Pay Vix. Episode 21. We back in the building. So, like I was saying yesterday, I told y'all, we gon' count down my albums and, like, just talk about those. So, um, today... The name of the album is Gone Global. Gone Global. That was an album from 2015. And, uh, yeah, that was my 2015 album. Um, the how I got that name or how we came up with the name Gone Global is because um, on my SoundCloud, I had a SoundCloud back then. Still got a SoundCloud, but it's been torn down, updated, torn down, updated, torn down, updated. You know how the internet be. Like, I was a late bloomer to the internet. Like, I didn't jump right on the social media, like Facebook was the first, I remember, social media platform, but I didn't jump right on there, like I was like 10 years late to Facebook, and like, I'm, I was late, I'm, I'm always late, I let new stuff just sit there, like, um, cause I wanna, I want like, all of the kinks to be worked out first, and I don't just jump because it's the newest fad or or nothing like that. But um, long story short, um, I was on my SoundCloud, and this is really like my first deal or like my first like um one of my first times like getting paid for music. Like I was already in the studio heavy, and like we was already. It was a lot going on in 2015. A whole lot going on with music and stuff. But long story short, um, my SoundCloud, I had all my mixtapes on there and stuff. And, like, um, I had a song called Everything Gonna Be Alright. I think that's the name of it. Everything Gonna Be Alright. Everything Gonna Be Alright. It's, um, yeah, it's from one of my mixtapes. And then, um... The guy who was managing um, the album for Gone Global, he jumped in my DM, and then he hit me up. He like, yo, I love this song. And it's one of those songs that I didn't even think people would like. Like, I did it for me. Like, I recorded everything going to be all right for me. You know what I'm saying? That was just, it's just crazy how God be working sometimes. But, um, you know what I'm saying? So we got to talking and um, long story short, he like, I need you on some songs. I want you to get together. I want to get together. I want to get together. Blah, blah, blah. <clears throat> Sorry, my voice all messed up. I need to drink some water. Hold up. Woo! <clears throat> Excuse me. But yeah, um so he hit me up. We started making music. Um he got a whole production team. Shout out to Stefan, Evie, Johan. What a monocle. The whole nine yards. So long story short, my I was super excited. Like I'm 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 chill right now, but I was super excited. Like I said, somebody hit me up for my song that I did. And then they're from France. They're from France, so that's how the name Gone Global came, but they're from France, and we did a whole album together. We did 
um a EP, we did a bunch of stuff. So um I wrote all the songs and then I had what makes this album dope, I wrote all the songs, but I had Evie, which is the singer in the background. I think it was another uh female singer too. Uh I forgot her name, but um I had two female vocalists singing the hooks or most of the hooks. They they were they were they were doing the hooks, I was doing the the rapping. And to me, this album is just super classic to me. Like like it's just super classic because of the blend of me being from Detroit in the hood and them being in France, wherever they from. But the the accents and I don't know, man. It's just like this album is just super dope. It's 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 love based though. It's like a um I don't know how to put it. It's like um it's like a um I don't know, it's super it's high energy. You know what I'm saying? It's high energy and um like I said, they did all the productions and all that stuff, but um yeah, I was getting checks every week just doing this and I really wanted to fly out there, shoot some videos and like um a lot of stuff. I was young though. Um and we were independent and like we didn't get a chance to really capitalize on everything. Like some of the songs were rushed. That was my fault. Like their production and their mixing and mastering is amazing. I was rushing with the vocals and I was choppy with the vocals in some in some parts in some instances. So I do apologize about that. That that still sucks till this day. But the music is classic to me, you know what I mean, to my heart. And if it would have got to the right people in the right time, like, this album could have blew big time. You know what I mean? It's still getting plays and downloads and, and, you know what I mean? It's still being talked about. But it, I never really had that push to, to go to the next level or nothing with most of my music because I wasn't able to get in front of people. I, I'm always good with making the music. It's just I'm not always in front of the right crowd when I'm making these music, this music. So <clears throat> um, the first song is Crazy Normal. And uh, it's a dope concept because it's like, you know, I say, I don't know why people do what they do. And then it's a dope concept because crazy normal is like the explanation of life. Like you got somebody who's walking around who to you looks normal. You know what I mean? Like you're looking at them and they look normal. And then you got somebody walking around and you think they're crazy. But to somebody else, the normal person could be crazy, and to somebody else, the crazy person could be, could be normal. Just like, um, I hope I don't get banned for this, but just like if Hitler, to Hitler, like, he had a big following. <laughs> and so many people, you know what I mean? He's crazy. And then just like Joel Olstein, you know what I mean? He's got a huge following. So... It's just the balance between crazy normal, you know what I mean? Like like nobody is right or wrong in this life we live. And it's like, you know what I mean? There's there's a reason why we do everything we do and I don't know. That I always wanted to touch on that subject, so I'm glad I got to put that song out. I didn't really get to like the lyrics is dope, but like I didn't really get to it wasn't my song, so I still had to you know what I mean, get creative with the lyrics. But that's a dope concept, and um, we got that one pushed out and then heard it before. It's like a dance song. That's number two. It's like a dance, like, uh, uh, you know what I mean? 
running game. You know what I mean? Like me basically saying to her, like, I know you heard it before, like, you know what I mean? But that one cool. <clears throat> Excuse me. Damn. I'm gonna come prepared next time. Um, like the birds. That's number three. Um that's just a banger. I just love that song. Number four, first date. Um I was super hype. I don't know what the hell I was thinking. Nah. First day, <laughs> I was super hyped. And then, uh, but but the chorus so hard. Oh, my God. The chorus is so hard. <laughs> we go have a good time like it's our first date. That That is a single that needs to be, like, in the club, like, video. Like, I don't see why this music don't blow like that, man. Like, like. Especially back then, like I get it now, but but like 2015, like the turn up was real. Uh, number five, want you so, just you know what I mean. That's like a good cuddle song. <laughs> uh, number six, new kind of love. Um, fresh Kush, new dollars. That's like it's it's a lot of blend between. Just synthesizers and hood talk, me from the hood, and, like, just still falling in love. And, like, the album is just, you just got to listen to it. And then uh, number seven, Fireworks. This might be my favorite song. It might be my favorite song. Because, like, but you just, it's hard to explain. I wish I could perform this stuff. Um... Number eight, roller coaster girl, just naughty. Uh, number nine, full effect. Show me where the party at. I'll be there in full effect. Show me where the party at. I'll be there in full effect. Push me. Number ten. Um, that song was recorded, then re-recorded, then like recorded, re-recorded. We had to keep sending the files, like. It was a lot of um editing going on, but I like how it turned out. Like I said, it could have been a super classic though if we would if I would have got everything together. It's not their fault, man. Them people, man, they they went above and beyond um to put this classic out. Uh, good people, man. And then um number eleven is complicated. That's self explanatory. Any relationship is complicated, especially me. I'm complicated, like, alone. Um, and then number 12, Bring a Friend. That's like a bonus track. Um, good summertime, cookout, like, <laughs> vibes, like, like, bubbly, like, by the pool. Definitely hot summer day kind of stuff, man. Um. I got to get out there. But that was, like, my first time, like, getting recognition, getting signed, getting money, getting all of that good stuff. So, um, Gone Global, Gone, Gone Global was cool. Um, 2015, Pavix, Wooden Monocle, Evie, Stefan, Johan, <laughs> the shout out to the overseas team um today's thought one of my favorite thoughts in the whole history of existence is if you ain't dead or in jail then you doing something right um this thought is like so balancing to all of your problems or at least me. All of my problems like go out the window when I say to myself, if you ain't dead or in jail, you doing something right. Cause so many people, including myself, could get caught up on the comparison of other people and just think we not adequate enough or we're not 
you know what I mean, important enough, special enough, uh, whatever enough, you know what I mean? But there's two ways to kind of figure out <laughs> if if you if you are okay or not. And that's like because you know what I mean, if you go to jail or prison Nine times out of ten, you did something wrong. If you're no longer here, you know what I mean, then that's not good. So if you avoid those two things, everything else you're doing is 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 good. That's between you and God, you know what I mean? Like you and the Lord or, or you know what I mean, you and your conscience or whatever, but. <clears throat> you uh stay out of jail and don't die. Everything else should just be second nature. Just do you, be you. It's it's really a simple and powerful thought and like I love it, man. So just keep doing you and uh I'm gonna keep doing me. Yeah. Thoughts will pay Vix episode twenty one. Gone global. Listen to the album. Twenty fifteen. It's way back. I know. But I'ma holler at y'all, man. Holler at your boy one.